welcome viewers to the final episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 2, which is Chemistry. So if you haven't seen the last 15 episodes, please go to our YouTube channel, you'll find a dedicated playlist that gives detailed solution to each and every question in this paper. And if you are new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button so that every time I upload a video, you get the notification bell. If you find this video to be helpful, consider liking, sharing and also commenting. That will help me to get the feedback from you. So let us move straight to question C3. Ethan and Ethan are both organic compounds. Compare how they react if at war with oxygen gas, hydrogen gas, lemma numero 3, write a chemical equation for n of the reactions in lemma numero 1 or lemma numero 2. B, draw the displayed structural formula of ethan, ethene, then E, describe a chemical test that can be carried out to distinguish ethan from ethene. Okay, so let us answer these questions one by one. So, we want to compare how they react if at all with oxygen gas, hydrogen gas. So, these are ethan and ethene. So, let us start with Loma numero 1. So, we are going to react ethan with oxygen gas. So what happens when ethan reacts with oxygen? What happens is ethan will undergo complete combustion. That is producing carbon dioxide and water. So what will happen is we are going to have complete combustion. So it will be ethan which will be this, that, this is ethan. Then this is the gas which is bent in air which is oxygen gas to give us carbon dioxide gas plus water this is what is happening so in the first case we are saying there will be complete combustion so this is complete combustion takes place. That's the first case. Lomani numero 1. Then, that's for the case of ethan. What happens with ethan? So again, ethan also react with oxygen to undergo complete combustion, producing carbon dioxide and water again. So the only difference is now is in the formula. So again here there will be complete combustion. So this is complete combustion. So I just write here. Then also this one would also undergo complete combustion. So I'm going to have this ethane which is gas will burn in oxygen which is complete combustion to give us also carbon dioxide gas plus steam which is in like in that so what you need is you can now just balance this equation if you have time so the balance equation if you take time you'll see that we're going to have a 2 in front here, then we have a 7 here, then we are going to have a 4 here, then we are going to have a 6 here to balance the equation. Then this one, when we balance it, we are going to have a 3 here, so that, and a 2 here, then a 2 here. That's how it will look, that will be the balanced equation. So that's for Lomani numero 1. Lomani numero 2, hydrogen gas. So let me just create space. So this is Lomani numero 2. So with hydrogen gas, ethan does not react with hydrogen gas. So in this case, the case of ethan, 
So Ethan does not react with hydrogen under the normal conditions. This is because ethan is already a saturated hydrocarbon, meaning it has a maximum number of hydrogen at atoms that should be bonded within carbon atom. So why? Because, because it is already saturated. That's the logic behind. Then, so what happens with the case of ethan? So the case of ethane, because this is an saturated hydrocarbon, ethane reacts with hydrogen in the presence of a finely divided nickel catalyst to form ethane. So in this case, ethane reacts with hydrogen in the presence so in the presence of fine nickel which is a catalyst to form ethan so the equation is we have ethan which is gas then is reacted with hydrogen which is gas under the presence of um, uh, fine nickel to give us this eth ethan so this is what happens then loma numero three write a chemical equation for n of the reactions in loma numero one or loma numero two so I've written all these equations already you've seen these equations so you can just pick one of them, these three equations then you are good to go question b draw the displayed structural formula of ethan loma numero 2 ethan so i'm going to have loma numero 1 here then i'll write loma numero 2 here so this is c2 h6 and this is c2 h4 so for loma numero 1 we're going to have two c c c but this is saturated so it's going to be surrounded by OH. So there are six. So we have form, then we have one. Then so this is the saturated D bond. So when you do this, the structural formula of ethan, then this is ethane. Then this one is unsaturated because there is a four here, so we're going to have a double bond. Remember the key feature of our kin is the double bond bond so in between here we're going to have a double bond then we're going to have one two then these four h once you do that you are good to go you get one one which is in the two max question e which is supposed to be seen it was a typo when they're making this paper Describe a chemical test that can be carried out to distinguish ethan from ethane. So how do we distinguish our cans in short from our kins? So you see this process that we need to describe. So how can we do that? We want to distinguish these two. So in our can which is saturated we compared with the alkenes which is an saturated so to distinguish between ethan and the ethane we can use bromine water which is an orange or brownish solution of bromine so this bromine when shaken with alkene such as the ethan the solution becomes colorless due to the addition reaction that takes place on the other hand, when shaken with alkane, such as ethan, there is no change in color of the bromine water. This is due to the fact that alkenes do not have carbon, carbon double bond. Thus, they do not go under addition reaction. So, we can learn to distinguish 
Ethan from Ethan Bromine water can be used which is orange in color when bromine water is shaken with our kin or when our kin is shaken in bromine water the solution becomes becomes colorless because it's changing from orange to colorless due to addition reaction this does not occur if done with ethan because it does not undergo addition reaction so in other words you need to shake our kin with bromine water then the bromine water changes to colorless that confirms that is him ethane if it doesn't change it means this is ethan so this is how you test him these two once you do that you are good to go and you'll be able to get these 10 marks which you need for you to move towards getting that distinction so thank you for joining me in this series of episodes that focused on the detailed revision of this paper don't forget to join me in other episodes remember we've done mathematics we've done physics we've done english we've done biology and we've got all other papers that have covered other materials of the past paper as far as 2017